good. Hey folks, Ray Dog Thunder Beast here. Um, I have a uh, 22250. I get a lot of questions about 22250. So I have some Horn and D factory ammo, 55 grain V Maxes here. I have a BK 2209 set up right by my head for shooter's ear numbers. I'm going to start with a 223 Ultra 7, the can that's been beat up and all that. Let's see. Uh, Let's see how it runs. I'll just shoot into the burn right here real quick. Wow. Right at 129. That sounded better than I expected. That's down at 128. Let's see if I change scales here. What happens? 127 and a half. That was right at 130 ish. And right at 130. So that is a 223 um, Ultra 7. That was a 250. Let's jump in bore size. Uh, it would make sense to do a 6.5 cam next. So here is a 6.5 cam. We go back to the 130 scale. One thirty two and a half. One thirty one. You guys can see the numbers, I hope. Right at one thirty. One thirty one. And right at 130. Um, that was the 65 Ultra 7. Uh, we'll just go to the 7 inch can, but now a 30 cal. Um, I don't know if you can see, but when you run these B and K 2209s, you have to be on peak hold. They have to be A weighted. The scale goes from basically negative 10 to plus 10. And then the scale we're on here, if you guys are wondering how I'm getting these numbers. That was a 131. One thirty two. 132, 135, and 135 and a half. That was a 7 inch 30 cal. Let's jump to a 9 inch 30 cal. Here goes 9 inch 30 cal. One twenty seven about one twenty six. Grab an empty case, not so good. Another one thirty three. 129, 129, that was way down in 127 world, throw a couple more through this one, 128, 
129. So you can see the 9 inch 30 cal can is extremely versatile. Sounds good on a whole huge host of weapons. 127. So that's a 9 inch 30 cal. Sounding awesome on a 22 250, even though it's such overbore. Oh, that's hot. Where's my glove? All right, let's do a uh, nine inch six five can. Let me run a few. Right at one thirty. One twenty seven. One twenty five. One twenty eight. One twenty five. One twenty nine. 127 125 now uh, the only thing really left is the uh, 338 ultra I actually have a five inch ultra too so let's uh, let's do 338 ultra. One thirty two, one twenty five, one twenty five, one twenty six. One twenty seven. So even with the overbore, I mean there was a pretty significant first round pop and typically with overbore, the more overbore the more first round pop we'll have. Um, that barrel's really hot. I've got four rounds there and I've got an ultra five I could put on. So let's run an ultra five. That is an ultra five. Let's see. One thirty eight. One thirty six. A little better than one thirty six, one thirty five and check. 135 and 139 there you have it 5 inch 30 cal 7 inch 30 cal 9 inch 30 cal 7 inch and 9 inch 65 cans a 223 ultra and a 338 all on a 22 250 shot relatively quick so you guys can get some real world numbers man